So here we are with the port injection on Watermet. I haven't tested it yet, but uh, I still got to prime everything. Basically, we've got this running off the module. We've got the uh, US Rally Team valves, or race valves, one on each side. So basically got a manifold on each side. And then over down in here, we have a, can't even see it right now. There you go. We have a throttle spacer. That's gonna be activated by a hob switch. So at three PSI, valve opens, pump powers on. So the, uh, the pump is actually powered by a hob switch right now. At three PSI, it comes on. Both of these open, uh, power up and open. I've got a pressure sensor there going to my P3 gauge to know exactly if uh, pump failure, blockage in a line, leakage in a line, you name it, right? So if it's happening around the pump, I can at least see the pressure in my gauge. We've got, again, two systems. They're working independently, so I can cancel one out if I really want to. I can block it. This is gonna be cooling the intake air at this uh, nozzle. And then these ones over here are all gonna be contributing to uh, increasing the octane because it's going to be injecting below the intercoolers all right so this is going to be injecting before and then these are injecting after right so it won't be vaporized by the time it goes in the combustion chamber we have them teeing in the back right between both sides just this is the first startup the blower is ported as well I must I did it myself bearings all that's been replaced this isn't a powder coat or a ceramic coat or anything like that. This is just a rattle can spray. It's the crinkle red. I did nick it here. I got to fix it up. But uh, yeah, this is looking really good, guys. Keep you guys posted with more.